Today we will continue learning about JavaScript, about the essentials of uh, the inner workings of JavaScript. Uh, however, before we do that, I want to digress on um, the concept of scoping, of how variable binding works in uh, JavaScript. And to do that, I want us to um, talk about the difference about uh, the difference between these three constructs: var, let, and const, which are three ways that JavaScript offers to declare variables. Why just one when you can have three? So the first one, it's perhaps the most common one, is called var. And what var does, it defines a function global variable. So wherever you, if you define, so look at this example, right? What we do is first we define a variable x and we assign number one, then we see an if. Uh, so here, of course, x is now bound to 1, so that's the value of x. Uh, and if I define var x equals 2 inside the if, uh, I am redefining the global variable x. And it's global to the context in which this code is uh, running. So if it's inside a function, it will be only within that function. And if it's outside, then it will be, I guess, everywhere? Not really sure. Let's just focus on functions for now. So function global, um, meaning that if execution goes through this branch, right? If And it will because x is one. That means that now outside of the if, x is two. So we effectively have mutated this variable right here, okay? Um, which is why this assert would, would pass. And finally, if we, we can redefine it with just x equals something, that is a redefinition of an existing binder. Um, you can do x equals 10, and that will assign x to uh, 10 to x. So if you read x, it will be 10, right? And if you want to really believe me, I have um, this code right here. Move it this way. Now I do node, uh, lecture 37 and everything passes, okay. So pretty good. Uh, I can even write something bogus here, just so you believe me. See, assertion fail. Of course, it won't tell you what, <laughs> right? But we know it's this one. Okay, so you've seen that this works, um, or how this works, right? Var is global with respect to a certain function. So we need to be careful because um, you know, we, we need to be judicious when we are declaring this variable so that, you know, if it's defined within a branch, we are sure that we mean this globally defined variable. So in a way, there's no, no lexical scoping for variable X, right? Uh, in the sense that if you redefine it here, you're actually talking about the outermost variable, which is a bit weird. Uh, the other way you have to define a variable is called let. And let, what it lets you do is you de declare a variable, uh, but if you try to do the same thing we did with var, it won't work. That's the first thing. So the, the first thing is that the variable x is now scoped, whereas this one is not, right? The, there's only, they're all global, right? With respect to the functions, where with let, it won't be. So if you redefine x to be two, then x is two. So this works. Um, but x is not too outside, right? So x is still one outside of this branch, which makes more sense. You know, if you want to write some code and you want to reason about it, you don't need to read the whole context. If you're defining x, you know that inside of this, um, it's two, and whatever happened here should not affect the outside. So this is nice. Uh, and you can redefine the variable. So in this case, if I do x equals 10, you can redefine it. Okay, so let me copy paste this code right here. Okay, but this is a variable that can only be declared once. So if I um, undefine, you know, uncomment this. So let's say here where I'm redefining x to be 2 or x to be 20. Um, now I will get an error. See? I get a syntax error saying that X has already been declared. Um, but this is not, so this is similar to, to Racket in the, in the idea of scoping, but it's different to Racket in 
it's different to Racket in the sense that you can re redeclare a variable. In Racket, you cannot do that, right? So in Racket, this would be an error if you try to redefine. But if you try to mutate the variable x, you can't do that in Racket. At least I haven't taught you how to do it. So this variable, this this is how let works. So slightly different. There is scoping. In summary, there is scoping, and you can reassign the value, right? And of course, it only affects um, the scope, the variable x in this particular scope, right? It doesn't affect. Um, What do I want to say? If you have branches, I think you get it, right? It's the usual way. So variables are defined within its scope. So the scope ends in this bracket. So the variables only defined here. Nothing surprising. This is how it should have been always. So try to use let. Uh, there's another thing that you might see, which is a const. A const works, works exactly like a define in racket in the sense that um, you can you cannot redefine it and you cannot assign anything to it. So let me copy paste this. So the you cannot do this with a const. That's the only difference. It works like a let, except you cannot mutate the, vari the variable. So if I write it in this way, right, let me comment this out. Simplest example, right? I have a number and then what I, I want to do equals 10. I try to assign another number, I get an error. You cannot assign a constant to that variable because it's const. Okay. Uh, I can, however, redeclare it in a in a new scope. So if I do if uh, true or if number equals forty two, uh, then const number equals ten. That would work. Uh, I can't mutate it, that still won't work, even if it's in a different scope, right? Uh, so here, if I run this, I should see 10, right? Because it's defined in the scope. And if I print the value outside, I should see 42, right? And I see, so it's scoped exactly like uh, a delete. However, I cannot, I cannot redefine it, right? You get an error. So that's basically it. That's the other difference. So it's a bit more um, restricted than a let in the sense that you cannot assign it. That's about it. That's basically the difference between var, let, and const. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to start talking about object creation.